Blusters, ever dreamt of spending a magical three days in the enchanting town of Colmar? Well, today's your lucky day. I've got the ultimate itinerary that's going to make your trip unforgettable. From hidden gems to popular hotspots, I've got you covered. But before we dive in, do me a small favor, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you want more epic travel itineraries and tips from all around the globe. Let's jet set together! Alright, ready to explore Colmar? Let's go! Day 1. Stroll through the streets of the city Today, we're diving into the heart of Alsace to explore what many believe to be its crown jewel, Colmar. This city is like a page from a fairy tale, bursting with authentic Alsatian charm. As you wander through Colmar, your eyes will be treated to these stunning half-timbered houses that look like they've jumped straight out of a storybook. Everywhere you turn, there's another picturesque view waiting to be captured. Now, if you want to experience the true essence of Colmar, you have to check out the Tanur's district. Imagine walking down cozy little streets flanked by narrow houses dating back to the 17th and 18th centuries. This neighborhood went through a glow up in the 60s and 70s, and today it's a living testament to Colmar's timeless beauty. Speaking of must visit spots, have you heard about the Fishmonger's Wharf? Back in the day, this was the go to hangout for the town's fishermen. Revamped in the 70s, this vibrant area, with its rainbow of houses lining the loch, is a treat for the senses. Discover the Churches of Colmar First up, the St. Martin Collegiate Church. This gothic giant began around 1235. It's not just big, it's the biggest in Middle Alsace. The coolest part? It stands over an even older church from the year 1000, definitely a must visit. Just a hop away, near the Unterlinden Museum, is the Dominican Church, a 14th century masterpiece. It's got breathtaking stained glass windows and a unique wooden altarpiece, the Virgin of the Rosebush. Last, we've got the St. Matthew Church in Colmar's Heart. Once a 13th century Franciscan church, it's been Protestant since 1575. Its walls hold beautiful religious paintings, and it's a hot spot for concerts thanks to its awesome acoustics. Visit the Museums of Colmar If you're a history or art enthusiast, you're in for a treat. Let's dive into the amazing museums this place has to offer. Up first, we've got the Unterlinden Museum. Think of it as Colmar's personal treasure chest of fine arts. Tucked inside an old 13th century convent, this place is brimming with cool artwork from the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. And here's a juicy bit. It's one of the most visited museums in the whole of France outside of Paris. One masterpiece you can't miss? The Isenheim altarpiece, crafted by the artistic legends Nicholas D. Hagenau and Matthias Grunewald in the 1500s. Next, we stroll over to the Bartholdi Museum. Ever heard of the Statue of Liberty? Of course you have! Well, this museum is the birthplace of Augusta Bartholdi, the genius behind that iconic statue. Spanning three floors, it's like walking through Bartholdi's creative mind. Sculptures, paintings, models, sketches, you name it, they've got it. Now for the curious minds, the Natural History and Ethnography Museum is a wonderland. Imagine living in a place that's been collecting cool stuff for over 150 years. From stuffed animals to shiny minerals and even rare fossils. It's like a mini globetrotting adventure right here in Colmar. Lastly, for those young at heart, or well, just young, the Colmar Toy Museum is where the fun's at. Picture this, three floors packed with over a thousand toys, from vintage small trains and robots to cuddly stuffed animals. It's like a nostalgic trip down memory lane. Day 2. Discover Colmar in an original way Visit Colmar by boat Let's dive into the charm of Little Venice. You know, it's the place everyone's raving about in the city. Heard the name Little Venice before? Yep, it's a popular tag for many places, but this one? Totally unique. Imagine this. Stunning wooden houses right on the water's edge, giving the real Venice a run for its money. Want the best view? Hop on to one of those flat bottom boats. Fun fact, these boats are just like the ones from the Middle Ages, used by the locals to bring their goods to the market. Cruising along, you'll get to see the Mare Chiels district and roll into the heart of the city towards Les Halles. 
And guess what? The boatman isn't just your captain, he's your history buddy. Get ready for some fun facts and stories about the sights you're gonna see. Taste Elysian Gastronomy did you know Alsace has the highest number of Michelin stars in the whole country? Yep, so let's dive right in and explore some mouth-watering Alsatian dishes. First up, if you're counting calories, you might want to look away. Alsatian food is a treat for the taste buds, but might give the waistline a bit of a challenge. From the traditional sauerkraut to the scrumptious Kakariesling, there's something for every palate here. And if you're into trying unique regional treats, you can't miss the Bekeofe. Imagine tender potatoes with three marinated meats all cooked to perfection. Sweet Tooth Gang, where you at? Make sure you stop by the Mason Alsacine de la Biscuiterie. They've got this dessert called Kogelhopf, and trust me, it's a must try. But hey, if you're someone who loves shopping for local delights, the covered market on Unterlinden Square is the place to be. Picture a cute pink sandstone building filled with the best of Alsace, and guess what? It's open every single day, so no excuses. Now, while you're jotting all this down, here are two eateries you just can't miss. First is Le Petit Bidon. It's cozy, offers classic French dishes, and the staff, super friendly and knowledgeable. Perfect spot to wind down after a long day. And if you're craving some authentic tarte flambis, head straight to La Fleur de Sel. It's in the heart of Little Venice, probably the dreamiest part of Colmar. But heads up, it's got only 14 seats, so maybe get there a bit early. Alright foodies, that's a wrap for today. Dive into the flavors of Colmar, and let me know which dish you're dying to try. Day 3, Discover the Surroundings of Colmar Explore the vineyards of the Colmar region. Starting just a short drive from town is the legendary Alsace Wine Route. This isn't just any route, it stretches an impressive 170 kilometers. Weaving through a tapestry of vineyards, age-old castles, and some of the most picturesque villages you'll ever lay your eyes on, places like Rikvir, Obernai, and Aguishim, they're straight out of a fairy tale. Now here's a cool fact for you, Alsace is the birthplace of seven globally celebrated grape varieties. Ever enjoyed a glass of Riesling, Gewürztraminer, or a Silvaner? This is where the magic happens. While you're cruising down the wine route, there's so much to learn and experience. Meet the passionate wine growers of Alsace, get behind the scenes in their cellars, and of course, indulge in tasting some of the region's iconic wines. And if you're looking to elevate the experience, there's even guided tours that kick off right from Colmar. These tours take you deep into the vineyards and bring the wine tasting to you. Just a heads up, they're around 150 euro, but for the memories and flavors, totally worth it. Visit the Alsatian villages from Colmar. Why not explore some of the breathtaking Alsatian villages nearby? First up, we've got Kayersberg. Imagine wandering its streets, taking in the charm of those classic half-timbered houses. Sounds like a dream, right? But that's not all. Next, we'll drive through the famous Alsace wine route. Get your cameras ready because the views are simply stunning. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, Rikvir awaits. This gem is tucked amidst vineyards and trust me, it's a sight to behold. Last but definitely not least, Hunavir recognized as one of the prettiest villages in all of France. And it's not just about the looks, the craft shops and cultural spots are a feast for both your eyes and your soul. All this for just 60 euro a person, sounds like a deal. Major Annual Events in Colmar Starting end of November all the way to December, Colmar transforms into a winter wonderland with its Christmas markets. Picture this, markets scattered around the city, especially near the Dominican church, and if you fancy some winter fun, there's an ice rink waiting for you at Place Rop, right in the heart of the city. But if spring is more your thing, drop by in April. The Easter markets are in full swing, showcasing the region's best traditional products and crafts. You're in for a treat, I promise. Summer? Oh, Colmar's got you covered. July and August are all about the Colmar Wine Fair. It's not just about wine, though that's a big part. Thousands flock to the Colmar Exhibition Center for this. And guess what? There are shows, entertainment, and obviously lots of wine tasting. So if you're planning a trip, make sure to time it with one of these events. Trust me, you won't regret it. 
accommodation in Colmar. I've got some cool spots lined up for you. First up, for those who love the coziness of an apartment, check out La Ours de Colmar. It's right in the heart of the city. Some of these apartments even come with a lounge and dining area. Oh, and you won't be missing home because you'll have a fully equipped kitchen and a bathroom all to yourself. The best part? Prices start at just 112 euro for a room on the ground floor. But hey, if you're feeling a bit fancy and got some extra cash to spend, me and you, Hamamet Spa, is the place to be. This five-star gem is smack dab in the middle of Colmar, and guess what? It's just a short walk from the Maison d'Estet. Here, you're in for a treat with plush rooms, and when you want to unwind, dive into their jacuzzi or maybe chill in the Hamelman Spa. Starting at 231 euro for a night, it's luxury meets location. Alright adventurers, that wraps up our three-day whirlwind tour of Colmar. I hope this itinerary helps you make the most of your time in this mesmerizing town. If you find this guide helpful, don't forget to share it with your fellow travelers. And remember, for more travel tips and itineraries from across the world, make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on. Until our next journey, stay curious and keep exploring. Safe travels, everyone!